hi Josie fam welcome back to my channel I hope you are all doing well I'm super excited to have you back so today I'm going to be transforming my client here I can't wait for you to see the outcome please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so my client here is called Margaret and I already started by prepping her skin and I wiped off all the dirt and the oils on her face and I went ahead to moisturize and now I am applying my primer and farm I'm going to list all the products I'm going to be using down in the description box below whilst I wait for the primer to settle in and do its job I'm going to go ahead and start with the brows and here I'm just outlining the brow I normally don't like wasting time too much time on the brow these days because I realized in the process of doing the makeup I sometimes wipe off the pencil and I need to go back in and perfect the brows at the end so now I just prefer to do a sketch and then take my time to perfect it at the end so I'm now going in with my concealer to highlight underneath the brow and I like to take some of that concealer on the eyelid and in this case I'm using a lighter shade of concealer to highlight the brow area. So the same concealer I'm applying on the eyelids is also going to serve as a base for my eyeshadow application and right after applying i'm going to go ahead and blend So right after blending in that concealer, I'm going to go in now with my Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette and I'm going to take this shade called Burkina and that is going to be my transition shade and I'm going to top that up with Fulani and that is going to be my crease shade and my socket area shade and also Farm, I like to go in with neutral tones when I'm doing makeup for you know matured skin and so I like to go in with neutral tones and see how the look is going to go before I go in and intensify with any other color And so now I'm going to cut the crease. I'm going for a cut crease look today. And I'm going to cut the crease. And this is a semi cut crease. And I'm going to take the Afrique by Juvia's Place again. And take this shade called Kissy. And apply that on top of the concealer I used to cut the crease. So I'm going to make sure that I pack Kissy on the entire cut crease area I just did before I go in and blend around the cut crease. So far as you can see my client is getting excited because the look is turning out exactly the way I wanted it to. Now using a detailed brush I mixed Ada and Zulu from the Masquerade palette to blend around the crease area after which I'm going to go in with some eyeliner and create a wing and then go in with some mascara and then some falsies. Thank you. 
like to go in with some eyeliner on top of the lash band after I fix the false lashes and this is going to help me cover the lash band so it's time for foundation now and I'm going to do a patch test and blend the foundation in to see if it matches her skin and the foundation I'm going to be using is the Milani golden toffee and I love using Milani because it's also a concealer it doubles as a foundation and a concealer and so I'm going to use that on her now and I make sure that I blend immediately after I apply and the reason why I love to do this is because some foundations dry fast and so if you don't blend it immediately after you apply it's going to dry up on you and you can solve that by spraying some certain spray on your face if you encounter such foundations to loosen up the foundation before you go in and blend but to avoid the whole hassle of the foundation drying up on you i prefer to blend it whilst i apply and i'm making sure that i use a detailed brush when it gets to underneath the eye and this is because it helps to blend underneath the eye without disturbing the eye so i'm going in now with some of the foundation on top of the eyebrow area and this saves me time compared to using a concealer to do that so in this case my foundation also doubles as a concealer and so it's like killing two birds with one stone So fam, as you can see, my client is so happy and we were having fun creating this look. And so I'm going in now with some lip balm. I sometimes apply lip balm before I start the face and or I do that with my skin prepping. I just like to let the balm sit on the lips for a while to nourish them and also to make them supple before I go in and apply my lipstick and so i went in with some foundation on the neck area as well and this is to help tie the whole look together and now i am going in to highlight and because my foundation is already a concealer i mixed some light powder with that foundation and that gave me a little bit of highlight and that is what i'm going to use to highlight the forehead area underneath the eye and the chin area and this is because I am going for a soft highlight so now I'm going to make sure that I set the entire face with some loose powder and in the process of setting the face I also did a little bit of reverse contour on the sides of the cheeks and now I am highlighting the nose and setting the entire face and I'm using my damn beauty blender to set most of the face for a more airbrushed look but I'm going to go in with a brush to lightly set the corners of the face and after which I'm going to go ahead and contour the face
after applying the contour i am now going in with some blush after which i'm going to do some detailed highlighting and i love how this look is turning out so josie fam if you have come this far in this video please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also leave a comment and let me know what you think about this look down in the comment section below let's get interactive fam so i'm going in now to contour the nose and i'm using a fluffy detailed brush to do this so i am now going to apply some highlighter in the inner tear duct area to open up the eyes i'm now going to apply some lipstick and go ahead and style her hair and i'm using this full pony and as you can see my client is looking absolutely gorgeous i love how this look turned out from and she really loved it and as you can tell from the smile we enjoyed creating this look together and i love how this look turned out so this is her beautiful before and this is the beautiful after i just love 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 this look and fam i hope you also enjoyed watching please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and so that's it for this video fam i hope you enjoyed watching please like comment share and subscribe and until I see you in my next video, stay safe and never give up. Love you all. Mwah. Bye, fam.